our web browsers are really pretty incredible tools. They're almost like operating systems for the internet. And we can modify what our web browser can do and is capable of by adding extensions or web apps. I'm gonna show you how to do that today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? And today on the show, I have one mission and one mission only, and that is to show you how to find and install browser add-ons or browser extensions. Now, this should not be something that causes you anxiety, but I know for a fact that a lot of people get a little bit uptight when they're considering having to add browser extensions or browser add-ons in order to complete some sort of a task on the internet. So I will make it easy for you as we walk through it today. Fair deal? All right, let's dive into it. First of all, a browser extension or a browser add-on works almost identically across all different browsers. I'm gonna be showing it to you right now in Google Chrome, but the exact same process happens within Apple's Safari browser or within Firefox or within Microsoft's Edge browser. It's the same process installing browser extensions and browser add-ons. As I say, what they do is they add to the functionality, they add to the capability of the browser because browsers as they sit have a certain number of features that are built into it. But by adding extensions, we can make them work with other apps. We can make them do other things, especially work with other apps. So for example, if you take a look here, here is where all of my extensions live in my web browser here in Chrome. And you can see the ones that I use most often. The first is LastPass. This is my password management tool. So here I have access to all of my passwords within the browser where I need them. That's a perfect example of what an extension should do for us in a web browser. So I installed the LastPass add-on into my Chrome extension here. I signed into my LastPass account, and then now I have access for signing into all of my accounts. Now, the reason that I recorded this particular video was as a companion video for some educational videos that we're doing to help teachers and students. So we're gonna use some educational apps as examples for installing extensions, but this works for everybody that needs to install a browser extension. Now it all begins for us at something called the Google Chrome Store. And all you have to do is go to uh, chrome.google.com. When you're there, you've got a search field and you've got the most common and most popular browser add-ons and extensions listed out for you here. Now, if you're looking for one specific one or you're looking for an idea, you can type it in. So if you were, for example, wanting to put in the same browser extensions that I have here, if you wanted to add LastPass, you just type in LastPass, do a search, and there we have LastPass. Now, I've already installed it in my browser, but if I hadn't, I would have this same Add to Chrome button. So let's show you how to install one of the extensions that we were talking about in the other video that I was talking about. And one of them is called Duelist, which allows you to split your screen. If you have a single monitor here, it allows you to split the screen. So I've typed in the search, and there is the, the browser extension. And we'll have all of the links to all of the browser extensions that we talked about in the video. Uh, we'll have them all in our description as well. But all we do here is we click Add to Chrome. When you Actually, before you do that, let me cancel that. Instead of it just straight adding it to Chrome, by clicking on it, you can go through and you can read it and you can see any demos that they might have, any videos that they have that will demonstrate it. And you'll see a description of uh, what the of what the extension does. And some of them are better written than others, to be perfectly honest. Some of them work really well, and other ones just kind of work so-so. Some of them just work on the operating system, like this one, because this is just gonna split the screen. Other ones will create a connection to another application that you run, such as my LastPass that, I'm show that I was showing you moments ago, or my Evernote Web Clipper, which allows me to clip content into Evernote. So they work either just solo or they work in conjunction with other apps. Now, typically speaking, if you're gonna be installing an extension that works with another app, there might be several to choose from. Always look for the one that comes that it was created by the company of the app that you're using because it's typically going to work better. Regardless, once that's all done, you click Add to Chrome. It couldn't be easier. And it asks if, it, if that's exactly what you wanna do. You say, add the extension, you give it permission. And now it has been added to Chrome. And you see here in the very top of my browser window that we can see that Dual, uh, Dualess has been added to Chrome. You can use this extension by clicking on the icon. And typically speaking, when you install an extension, it will be turned off until you click on it and you turn it on. 
Now in this particular case, what this browser extension is gonna do is it's gonna split my computer screen into a couple of different windows so that I can show if I'm screen sharing, I can have my browser open in one window and perhaps the, the video conference open in another window. And it basically replicates having multiple monitors at the same time. It's a fairly useful utility. Uh, and you can see here that I can go through and I can choose, oh, there it is, I split my window into two. So you can see actually an open window that I have for Google Meet open here, and we have the browser open on the other side. So it gives you a good idea just how this works. I want a different format, a different ratio. It gives me that. Let me try and get back to normal so that I can continue with you. Uh, so do a list right here. Ooh, I've, oh, if you've made it, if you've got too many, this is actually good. If you've got too many icons, if you've got too many browser extensions installed and you can't see them all because you don't have the screen real estate, the little three dots here will allow you to go and allow you to navigate to any ones that you can't see. And I'll just go back to full screen. So there you've got the ability to go through and install extensions. Now, if you want to turn off extensions or remove them, you go into the easiest way to do that is to go into, again, under the three dot menu in the browser, go into your settings and in your settings, you can choose extensions and when you choose extensions there you can go through and you can turn on or off extensions you can have extensions on your computer that you haven't invoked that aren't active and you can turn them on and off now i have a ridiculous number of extensions here on my screen because i'm constantly testing out different ones but you can see the ones that are turned on and the ones that are turned off and just by flipping this toggle i can turn any extensions off that are on and on that are off so you have total control and if there's something that you're never going to use you can click on remove now before i leave this and this works pretty much identically on all the browsers i'm not going to spend time showing you that right now but it works the same in safari as it does in firefox as it does here in google chrome now before we leave there's two other things that i need to tell you about the first is there's also a type of browser extension called a web app, which is far more capable than these simple little apps that we're talking about right now. These apps that he install here in the menu bar do very simple, very basic things. Over here on the other side of the menu bar, we have the app screen and you can install web apps in the same Google store. But web apps are different than browser extensions in the fact that they are actually fully capable almost full applications. So if we say go into Google Drive, if we invoke the Google Drive web app, it actually has its entire, it's got, it's an entire application in the web browser window. It's got its own menus. We click here and down pop menus. So we've got a full navigation interface and a full app interface within a browser itself. So web apps are far more capable, but effectively they do a lot of the same things as do extensions or add-ons. And people will sometimes uh, call one the other. They'll call an add-on a web app and they'll call a web app an add-on. But just recognize that truly web apps are more capable versions of extensions or add-ons. The second thing that I wanted to tell you is what I've just shown you does not work in mobile. Even though we use the Chrome browser or the Safari browser on our smartphone or on our tablet, we can't install the same extensions on those platforms because the extensions relate to the operating system as well as the browser itself. So because we're in a mobile environment, we can't extend the functionality the same way on a tablet or on a phone as we can on our desktop. So all of the different browser extensions, all of the different browser add-ons that we show you in, that we show you here, you can't use in your mobile version. I hope you found this little tutorial today to be useful. We will include links in the description below to other documents that will help you walk you through this if you need further information on any of these topics. Now, I do have a few favors to ask. First of all, if you've enjoyed the video and found value, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, I look forward to reading them in the YouTube comments. Additionally, if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I will see you next time right here for more Dotto Tech. Until then, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.